If you closely follow world events, you'll notice two things that are happening almost simultaneously. First, you have the opioid crisis in the United States. The opioid crisis is an emergency. The rapid escalation of the heroin and opioid crisis. 142 Americans are dying every day of drug overdose. And then you have the surge in Afghan drug production. Opium production in Afghanistan rose by 43% to 4,800 metric tons in 2016 compared with 2015 levels. Afghanistan hasn't always been the booming center of drug production that it is today. Since the United States invaded in 2001, the poppy fields and the drug dealers who run them have been getting stronger. In fact, at this point, drug production in Afghanistan is 25 times higher than before Washington got involved. Where is all this opium going? How about the United States, which is currently suffering from a crisis of opioid addiction? Well, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency says that there's no connection. Southwest Asian heroin is by far the most common type of heroin produced in the world. However, its availability in the U.S. market is very low. The U.N. agency begs to differ. In different parts of the United States, there has been a resurgence in the consumption of heroin, and Afghanistan is now producing huge quantities. We know a great deal of heroin currently comes from Mexico, but now Afghanistan is looking at the U.S. for the distribution and consumption of its heroin. Before uh, we went into Afghanistan, there was almost no heroin production there. And then, of course, after we went in, uh, it miraculously began to uh, skyrocket uh, because the uh, northern warlords uh, went back into growing uh, opium uh, to fund uh, the war and also to enrich themselves. Later, uh, that the U.S. contractors, the people who were involved in doing a lot of the air flights in and out of the country, began shipping uh, drugs out. Later, we found out that a lot of the increase in heroin production uh, was being officially done uh, and the money going in the pockets, uh, eventually ending up in political campaigns uh, in the U.S., uh, and also to fund black projects uh, for intelligence operations that they didn't want anything in Congress to know. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.